Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday. Me too. And that you're happy it's Friday and your weekend is looking bright. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It says I include a paid promotion on my on my stream. I wonder who's paying me. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you see, for paying me, nobody that's paying me. Oh, there we go. I see the comments now. I didn't have it in the right little thing. I'm going to pop out the chat. And you're supposed to be. No, there's you not. To be doing okay. Yeah, I wish. What? Well, I just don't know why my voice last night and did all the settings and I did not put that on. Good morning, Jonathan. Okay. Hey, Jonathan. Okay, I'm trying to share this out really quick. To my pages and I need to share it out to Instagram. Out. You got your tea girl sharing a group. Got it hot this morning. Got it in this little. It's not a Yeti, but it's a Black and Decker or some kind of Yeti, I guess. And it's still hot, smoking hot. I love my hot tea. Let's see, sharing a group. Morning, morning, morning. Good morning. Got any plans morning. for the weekend? Go in garage sale. I really want to go, Teresa, but I'm not. My room's too full. <laughs> it's I a stick sale I've garage sale day. Hey, Sarah. Um, I don't know anybody from Ohio who would be calling me. So, I mailed Same you several there. packages this week. Hopefully, they get there safely. Hey, Miss Marion. Hey, Jean. Hey, Dean. How are you? It's good morning, so good Aunt Marion. Happy Friday. Okay. I'm just Let sharing on my weekend plans. I was sharing it. I shared it a bunch this morning earlier. Okay, cool. Good morning. Good morning to you. The red shed has a dollar sale. Oh. Stop it. I don't got no dollars for that. <laughs> don't tell me nothing about a, a red shed that has a dollar sale because that sounds really fun. Girl, I, you know I got to go. It's all, It's probably like maybe a mile and a half, or maybe a mile, something like that. Well, maybe a mile and a half from my house, approximately. And it's a big building with awesome stuff in there. And if it's a dollar... Woo. Oh well, move oh over something. I hope I sell some stuff today so I can make room some more stuff. Y'all buy these we things so I can get some more stuff. <laughs> right? I'm I'm gonna be pulling stuff from Let's go, Sarah. Come on. Let's do it. I, wait a minute. I can't wait on Sarah. She'll be late. She's worth it, but she's always late. <laughs> Oh, Lord, I have the boxer in here. So Y'all hear any heavy breathing today? That's my dog. Okay. So I am going to... Y'all going to be in line by 7 a.m., she says. Sure. Okay. All right, Teresa. You want... You ready to go first? Sure. Sure, why not? Let me show this cute polka dot piggy. It's a piggy bank. And he has He's his so offer. And he doesn't have any breaks or chips or cracks. Or I'm sure he's newer, temporary, but I have on his bullet five dollars. <laughs> Look at his little twisted little piggy piggy tail. He's so cute. I had a piggy bank when I was a child, and I still have me. But of course, it was that plastic, you know, 1967 stuff. But I loved it. 
And my dad used to fill it with wheat pinch for me. And my mother had a store one time I took him up there and bought candy with them wheat pennies. My daddy was so upset. Anyway. Oh, I would be upset <laughs> too. <laughs> That's five dollars. <laughs> My daddy would have been upset too. <laughs> then I had this little green pitcher. Let me tell you how tall it is. And I'll do five on it too. Look at that pretty handle. And let's see how tall it is. It's about seven and a half inches tall. It's just a little. Oh, Bobo, no, I'm online. You know it, right? You'll have to wait a minute, baby. It has some markings on it, but it's just where people roll. But I'll do it for five dollars. So I had the five dollar pink, five dollar. <laughs> they colors kind of match. <laughs> Little picture. It's too big for a creamer unless you got got a lot of cream. But um, anyway, be it's cool with some lemonade have, in it. It's good water. to have around your indoor plants that you forget to water. Yeah, that's what I like those that's for. That's a great idea. Because you always like walk right past it, and you're like, oh crap, I forgot to water it, and then you and then you forget again, you know. <laughs> Thank y'all. And good morning to anybody I didn't speak to. Casual Flipper. Hey, I see you. Denise, I see y'all. I don't mean to not speak. Good morning. Good morning. Denise Bautista. Okay. I love her name. What name? Let's do, it's called Shop My Room. We're just going to get Yay. it ready. Okay. From my own personal collection today. We have this Avon 1983 bell with a little pixie guy on it. It could be Jack and the Beanstalk. I don't know. But I love pixies. I collect them. He's from 1983. He's got his little stickers. That's loud. I'm sorry. And it was made exclusively for Avon. I love this. And he's just so adorable. Look at him. Yes. Staring oh. up five dollars. Five dollars for that little guy. He's so cute. Okay, I'm not a big Bell fan, but I'm I'm very particular. I do about like Bells. Bells. I like them. And then I have this, um, which I bought at a live sale a while back from Miss Pamela Blanchard. If y'all don't know Pamela Blanchard, y'all are missing out. It says That's "Made right. in Karemba." which I don't know what that means, Glauking, but I think it's Czechoslovakia from what people, from what I remember. It's marked number 32. It's a lusterware piece. It's double handled. And I'm going to ask for the low, low price of $8 today. Wow, that's a steal. Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Jane. Oh, Waiting on so x-rays well. for what? What happened now? For your I'm head so from hungry. when the fan fell? So five and eight. Let's get rid of everything in my house. And thank you. And here's Teresa. Well, Jane, prayers that it'll all come out fine. I, I know. This little We're changed. Changed. I know, like mallard duck, I guess. It looks kind of like it. This venti is from Japan. I'm going to ask $5 for him today because I love him. Cute. <laughs> then I have this little angel. She's not a bell. You could make her one. She does have a little hole in there, but she's a little bit heavy. But she's a beautiful blue. She has a little lantern. Her wings are all in really good shape. She has a little heart pocket. I'm going to ask $3 for her. Her head, neck, and back. Oh, my goodness. We love you, too, Jane, so much. Um, she does have a little stocking in her hand here and a little lantern. She is so cute. $3 for her or 5 for the little duck. Jane, I'll be praying. Anna Elise. And Heather on the iPad. Welcome, welcome. You must be feeling a little bit better, darling. Love you. Loves and kisses from my mom. Aw, good All right, morning, Anna. Too. And Jane would like the duck, please. 
Oh, okay. thank you. Okay. So I have these gag gifts, salt and peppers. One's got like chips on his little face. He's got rough spots and on his little toes. And they say S and P and you put them on the table and there's nowhere for the salt and pepper to come out. But when they flip it over, it's got the little thing on the bottom. So you think it's there. Italian style shakers with the ivy. I have a sunflower shaker. He's super cute if you collect salt and pepper shakers. I got this pig sculpture by Pigsville and it was handcrafted from 1992. Is he nice green? And then I have this little owl, and he's on glass, and he's got this stuff on his bottom. And I'll do all of this, this tray, with the five salt and pepper shakers. Two are just fake ones. The owl, the pig sculpture, and this beautiful etched bud face. All for the low, low price of $8, if anybody's interested. Jane. Wood bones. Jane, I'm going to need you to get somewhere and be still. Jane. Jane wants your little figurine. It's right, dollars. Okay. Thank you, Jane. And I'm not in a hurry, but just to remember that I bought stuff for me. Don't forget about it. Never got my invoice. Don't forget to have two emails. My PayPal email is different from the one you see on the screen. Why am I still on my face? Oh, because I have one more item to show. Yeah, That's you so still have some else. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is still the most gorgeous cake stand. I think you can make an assemblage. I think you can use it for multiple holidays. I think it's gorgeous. I think we're just going to like let it go for $10 today, which you guys think. It's beautiful. Got the gilding. It's got all these little pearls running up the side. Um, Morning Michelle. So and it's got all these little grapes and vines. And somebody would love this. Your mother, your grandmother, your daughter, your sister. Your, probably not your brother. <laughs> but he might. <laughs> maybe. Anybody, anybody would love this. $10. If anybody's it's interested, just write a 10 in the chat, chat. Yes, Michelle, we did see Jane, one of the duck, or at least I did. Teresa, did you see? Yes, I got it written down. Thank you. And then your okay. $8 figurines. Okay, here is Teresa. And thank you, Jane. Jane, I'm going to be praying for you to, to stay well. You have I to have move close so you can take care of me. No, uh, this is a beautiful scar, crocheted scar. Fun story is my grandmother used to wax them. She put them down in the paraffin wax so that they would stay stiff and pretty. I don't. That was just something she used to do. This one is not like that. It's just a very, it's a little bitty bitty crochet scar. I'm going to ask five dollars for it today. It's very pretty. Let me show you. Let me tell you just how wide it is. It's very wide. It's just about. It's 22 inches across. It's a nice scarf. Being pretty in the center of the table, you know, under your ear tray or something. And next, I have this little child's fun on the go contents of 20 activity pads, three stickers, and four markers. And I let it go for $1. It's still new in the package. It's never been opened. I don't it's, no, it's still sealed. I don't do that, but it's sealed. I want to make sure I wasn't telling y'all no stories. One dollar on this one and five on the stars. Oh, I know Thank a little so girl much. that thing reminds me of. My mm -hmm. little pony. And then Michelle no, P comes in them. and gets it for oh, that little got, girl I was thinking of. There she goes. There we go. And Jane, you want the scarf. Got it. That scarf is beautiful. Okay, Michelle, I have it. For the dollar. 
Okay. I actually had to leave something out of your thing that I was going to send her. So we'll, we'll make this next one next time. Go in there with it. Thank you. That was my two, hon. All right. Jane, and Dean, I'm saving your box till, well, today's Friday. So I'm going to ship it this weekend. But I got your vase in a safe place. I just want to make sure, you know, that's all you needed. And this is really cool. I got this one from the great and mighty Trisha from San Dionato. It came from her and she lives up in Washington State. If I'm not um, thinking incorrectly, maybe it's Oregon. I think it's Washington. I don't know. But it's very opalescent, very mid-century. Look at the lines. Look at the handles. And this vase is going to be $12. If you have that mid-century look in your house, like this will go right in there. It does have some numbers embossed on the bottom. And you can tell it's old. I think it's 086. Hello, hello, the metal angler. And so it's Good got morning, and Nancy. All the, all the way. It jammed up my neck, put pressure on my very bad back, and broke at least two vertebrae. Oh, ow. Choose your back doctor very wisely. And I suggest um, a neurosurgeon versus a orthopedic surgeon. Highly best advice I could give you. Don't go to an orthopedic surgeon. Um, and if you're already awesome. going to one, cancel your appointment and go to another one. This is a little stone um, vase. It's not very big. I'm not quite sure what stone it's made of. I think it's dyed, so it could be like, I don't know. It could be anything in the world. There's the bottom. It's got little white specks running through it, so it could be. Um, look like it. And they have a little village scene carved into it. Super awesome. I'm going to be asking... Oh, $15 on this, which is a great deal for stone carving. There's a little inside. So you could put, it would work good for like a little pin holder or just decor like I use it for. I used to stick a sphere on top of here, a little stone sphere. It was great. And that's my two, and here's Teresa. Hey, Cindy Twin. We have the same birthday. And, oh, speaking of birthday. I have been for two days listening to the most awesome records my dear lucid friend sent me. And I couldn't love anything any better than this thing right here. Oh, Lord. Doll warning. Cinderella. Doll warning. Cinderella, Cinderella, Cinderella. Dressed in yellow. And my cousin Sarah come by yesterday. She contested. I was listening to my records. I had them out and I listened to them all. I had them going all the way up to time to go on here. And then my Cinderella doll. Yes, I am still a child at heart. And I love it. Also, um, Wendy Milton came in. Welcome, welcome. And a uh, whole oh, handle of dolls, too. Look how beautiful she is. Okay, that. I just was thinking, my Cindy, my birthday twin made me think about I was going to tell y'all about my birthday guest from Hey, Cindy. Thank you. Look, and yeah. Nancy's here too. Hey, Nancy, my vintage friend. Yeah. Wendy, good morning. I have Aww. this sweet little puppy dog. He is vintage and he is in still in really good condition. I didn't find anything wrong with him. He's kind of a speckledy, almost that it's a tan or almost a yellow look with brown speckles. I will ask $3 for him. Then I had this little sweet dark brown one, and he's vintage too, and he's in really good condition. And I'm gonna ask three dollars for him. So we got Stop two dollars, yellow or brown. Jane, you let me hey, know, yellow or brown, or both. She wants both. Both, okay, probably so, huh? Jane loves her little doggies, and I do too. I love them. Me too, but they're two. all nine to twelve dollars here in Lafayette or here in my town. I've had those a long time. I'm, I'm glad they're going to a loving home. That's a 
Oh, Jane's the best for dogs. You know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was my two well, and my time. Besides me and you, besides me and you, Jane's the best for dogs. No, I'm kidding. We all tie as dog moms. Okay. So I have this huge brandy snifter looking and pulley looking really cool cube crazy cube elliptical pattern going on there. It's like an olive green. It's pretty big. You can put your hand inside. You get eight cashews if you were Shaggy's mm -hmm. old man. You could That's right. That's right. You imagine it's a dollar so books in there. I think 15 is a really good price for that. It has like the pond tail mark on the bottom. It has bubbles from being blown in it. Not controlled bubbles. They're accidental bubbles. But hey, it's still cool. It's handmade handmade mouth blown glass there. And I was asking 15 how about we do $12? I need room in my house. And you have one like that, Cindy? Aren't they pretty? Like, um, and I had purposely like wider window seals put in so I could put all my glass on them, but that one's too wide. That's not going to fit in a window seal and I don't have a curio cabinet. So, okay, this next piece, it's a uh, hundred percent acrylic. I got it at the estate sale of a fancy lady. Hi, aqua girl. One, 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 one. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, I don't know. These are like, it's kind of vintage, I think. I believe it's vintage, but you just wrap it around your neck. It's like a mini scarf and it's like high fashion and you got the two little and you do like that and then you just look so fancy. And so I was asking $10 for this thing and I think it would look great in like a display near your vanity or like even just packing it up for winter because you know if I have this next winter it's going to be stuck like chuck to my hip to my neck all right mm -hmm. so I had this I cut it down to 12 and I have this Beautiful. for 10 if anybody's interested let me know and I'll write you down for it and thank you and here is Teresa Anna you want that or thing you just Put it in there and we'll get it if you really want it. This is a um, pretty heavy, I think it must be brass uh, candle holder. It did say it was $15 originally made in India. I'm going to do it for $5. It's beautiful. Brass tone is a darker brass. Okay, and if we have any crafters in here, uh, I had two of these Good Shepherd sets. I do. I don't usually let go of them, but when I was looking through them yesterday, I realized I had a set of two, and uh, I will let it go for two dollars. It has a two dollar sticker on there, so let's let it go for two. Uh, which way the stream yard always gets me with backwards, but it is a little shell. It says Good Shepherd. It has the thread and the little, this would be a cross stitch, I imagine. Let's see what it says on it. Needle point contains the mesh and the thread. Know, I'm sure there's instructions in there too. Oh yeah, there's a paper in there. If you're interested in the, um, oh, this isn't Hannah, Heather, mom. Hannah's asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. Hannah's not feeling good. Well, Heather, if you want the fur, let, let us know. Five for the brass candle holder or two for the little cross stitch. Thank you. Ooh, okay. So, D, you are talking about my lovely, who's that man? Oscar de la Venta scarf from the other day. I do still have it. It is signed by Oscar de la Renta, who I don't really know who that is, but I recognize his name. So I know he's important. And it's really gorgeous. I like the colors that run throughout of it throughout it. And this has um where's the signature? Oh Lord. And it's vintage, so you gotta be careful. 
Oh no. Oh no. Hey. Oscar de la Renta. That's the only reason I knew it was him was because they had his name on it. Oh my goodness. Well, his name's on here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. And I do still have it if you're interested. Oh, there it is. I knew I was not imagining things. Oscar de la Renta. Like, it is vintage, so, like, okay, let's see. It's all hand-rolled edges, and everything looks good. Everything looks good. And then it gets kind of taut towards the end. I don't know if that's a rest of the country world, but word. And then it's got this little condition issue here. It's definitely a word. I use it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> we do pirate ship. And no, we don't carry over for several auctions. Payments do um, all the infos in the description within 48 hours of receipt of invoice or your stuff goes back into the sale. Um, we calculate it. We give you, we send you an initial estimate. We'll wait till the end of the week to ship for shipping. If it's uh, less, we'll, you know, reimburse you. If it's more, we'll reimburse you. Usually the journal quote is $9. Um, and we'll hold it till the end of the week, but you have to, I mean, payments do, especially, you know, so this is anyway, I'm sorry, $8. If anybody's interested in Oscar de la Renta, and then everybody's been asking me about my sculpture base for a long time. And I said, I would never get rid of them, but you know, life happens. He's got nostrils. He's got lips. He's going to be expensive because we're in love. This is, says CC 2013. It was like a hand pottery design, but he's got like temples and cheekbones and you can feel all that stuff. And then he's kind of got like a rigid thing around the top and a spine coming down his back, which I think it is. It looks like leaves and stuff. And then it looks like there's a crack at the top, but it's kind of in line with the lines that they ran through it. Like, this is all texturized. I don't know. That's how it came. Anyway, I'm asking $45 for this. I got this at an online estate sale. I couldn't let it go. I was obsessed. And so that's, you know. Those are very popular right now. My friend, Candy collects them and she pays a lot for them. She has several in her home. They're very popular right now. Good Thank morning, you, Joanne. Joanne. I have so many people that are like, if you sell that, tell me. And I really want to ask like every bit of $5,000 for it because I love it, but you know, <laughs> we have to be realistic. I think Dean wants your scarf. Was your scarf I got you, eight? Dean. Yes, thank you, Dean. Okay, I have the Book of Daniel DVD. For one dollar, so in good condition. I was pulling out stuff in there. As I was like, "What is that doing in there in that basket?" Then I have another little doggy. This one's bigger, made in Brazil. It's very lustery. Let's see how small is he. Oh, let's see a minute. Let me maybe get my ruler right. It's about eight and a half inches tall. I'll do him for three also. No way. Yes way. I kind of get the stuff cleared out. I'm going to mark buy dollar stuff. <laughs> I can buy three things see, with I, this dog. <laughs> ask Teresa, this thing stared at me while I slept on my bedside table, this boss here. She's like, I couldn't sleep if that thing was in the room. Uh oh. Okay, that was just one, huh? Okay. Yep. I got you, Jane. Then I have this planter. It is a very lustry, also mid-century modern looking. I don't know if the real date of it. It doesn't have anything on it to date it. I'm asking ten dollars for it because I love it. <laughs> Oh. It has a, a drainage hole in it. That's good, you know, for your plants. I've really gotten into plants. Trying not to kill them. You know, I can kill a succulent, and they say that's impossible, but I've done it. So 10 for no, the I've planter. Done it, 
uh, Jane got the dog. Oh, okay, Jane, I was reading. Okay, that was my two, darling. Okay, I'm sorry, I was reading chat to you. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, Joanne, you want my head vase? Joanne? Oh, that's a love. That's a love and home. I know, I'm glad it's going to a good home. Mm -hmm. she can she can put a sign about stealing from her booth on top of his head and he can be watching her customers oh, dear. i will miss you head face okay this is a wonderful wonderful item i got from um miss pamela blanchard again where I got this check a ostrich and I thought I was going to get a ceramic of all the weird birds out there, but you know, I'm cutting down my collections to just one thing. And so, I mean, I bid this thing way up, but I will give it to you for the special price. Well, let's offer this guy up. Let's start him at 15. Oh yeah. Which is half the price. I paid for him. Oh, so I'm going to give you guys a minute. Okay, send me that. If anybody's interested, I know the head vase is to die for. Hey, Cindy's thrifting again. I'm happy to be right back, back. Hurry back. Nobody's interested. That's okay. I'm going to love him anyway. Look at his face. Oh. oh. So no, sweet. you don't. I had to fight for him. Okay. Not literally fight, but you know what I mean. This That's next cool. thing, everybody always asks me if, um, crap, I forget what everybody always asks me. <laughs> this is from Ikea, but it is a really nice piece. Everybody's always asking me for, like, Western things, but it's signed by Annette Edmark, and it's actually very collectible. The ones I've seen on eBay go for, I don't want to lie, I want to say $70, but don't, that could be fake, but look how cool, he's got the little swirl for his nostril, he's oh, very yeah. regal looking, he's very like Scandinavian chic, mid-century, he could go in a lot of different environments. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, things would be worth more on eBay, but I have boxes of listed stuff on eBay, like boxes on boxes, and I need more room. Anyway, so I think $30 would be pretty flipping fair for this guy. He is super collectible, or, you know, people really like these. There is a white version. I left the white version behind because he's like a terracotta -y, terracotta like thing and there's his bottom and he has the artist tag on it and that's my two and here's Teresa I love that for the ostrich I definitely. Echo in, I'm echoing bad in my part I'm gonna I'm mute me it. I'm going to grab some more coffee show slow okay <laughs> Um, if you or anyone you know or one of your children are taking the ACT test and they need preparation, these cards are amazing to help with prepare for the ACT test. Um, I'm going to ask $8 for the box, which is a really good price. I understand. If y'all don't need them or want them, I will put them on eBay. My granddaughter used them, and she got a really good, great score. I didn't doubt it. She's smart. Anyway, $8 for the ACT um, cards, preparation cards, to help you be able to take the ACT. I wish I'd have had them back in the day. All right, next I have this little deer that I have hung on to for the longest because I love him. Made in Brazil. He stands about... Seven, almost, well, no, that ain't right. About six inches tall. And the width of him is seven inches tall. I'm going to ask $8 for him because he is a deer. And I see a lot of the channels, they get the boars on the deers and they go in like crazy. But that's okay, too. I'm glad for him. Happy, happy for him. 
but he is a little brown and tan deer. He would be really sweet in a little uh, sim lodge or something like that for Christmas or just any time, fall time. It's going to be fall time before we know it because June is about gone. I can't believe it. Anyway, $8. Is that what I said? And I, What did I say on these? Eight for them too? All right. So, Jane, clear up what you want. You know, I'm thinking you probably want the deer, but let me know. Yeah, it is time for them to be studying for the ACT because um, yeah. some of them take it even in the summertime. I, Jane, I think you probably want the deer, but Jane, clarify that Yeah, for I was me. just about to open my mouth and say Jane wants the deer because I know Jane. <laughs> yes, okay, dear place. Okay, got it. You're getting some beautiful little things. And I still have your box, so I'll try to see what I can fit in it. So I have it ready to go, but I haven't sealed it. Thank you, thank you. I hope it's not too choppy. I have my laptop in the furthest part from my house. Oh, wow, y'all can see my herd behind me and my dog. Look at that. <laughs> Bruno, what You're are you fine. doing? Okay. This is a made in Brazil um, stone. It can be used as a bookend or paperweight or whatever, but it's pretty dang big. Um, I can stare inside of this all day with a flashlight. It's just fun to look into. I do think maybe they put, well, they polished it for sure. It reminds me of like a Rorschach test with the little black dot. Tell Everybody tell me what you see in there. And then um, it's still got its Made in Brazil sticker on it. And then it's got the rough outside. And these are like my favorite looking kind of stones. I like to have, I like to know what they look like on the outside. And I like to know what they look like on the inside. But I also like raw stones. So I don't know. Anyway, this is going to be $25 if anybody's interested. And as you know, if you have a bookshelf, you only need one book in to keep everything up against one side. So really pretty, really great piece of decor. It's large. It's almost the size of my head. Okay. So there's that. And then I have this pretty large mushroom. It's not tea tiny. It's, um, I would say two to three inches. Where is my little ruler here? And he's stone. He's like an agate looking guy. I got this from Laura at Jewelry, etc. And I got a heck of a deal on it. And I um, am sad to offer it up, but hey. So anyway, I can't find the size of it, but here, you can compare it to the side of my face. It's not one of those ones where you shove up in the camera and they look huge. So he's got a little like itty bitty druzy pocket right there in his banding. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but there it is. And right here. And he's just adorable. And I'm pretty sure he's agate. Don't I mean I could be wrong. Anyway, $25 if anybody's interested in this big giant mushroom. And that's my two. Let me know in the chat if you would be interested. And here is Teresa. I have the little redware teapot. It only has like one little, and it really doesn't look like a chip. It kind of looks like it might have been made like that, but it could be because it's smooth and all. I don't know. It could be a little chip. I don't know. But that's the only thing that I can see anywhere. It still has all the old trim. It has a little uh, drip look to it. I'm going to ask $8 for the teapot. Has a little feet on it, the little ridges here. And then I have two little redware cups. They didn't come with it. They don't totally match it, but they match it enough if you wanted it for a set. I'll show you. You know, you could get by with that. But these are vintage. They have the little D-shaped handles, little flare bottoms. They're in very good condition. And I'm going to ask $8 for the two of the cups. 
as a set. If you want to buy the teapot and the, the cups, I'll let them go. If you want both of these together, I'll let them go for 12. If you want them separate, I'm going to do eight. That's my two. All okay. right. Okay, Nancy, Lucid50 is my eBay, eBay store name. I don't know why they applied numbers. They could have left it Lucid Curios because nobody uses that. Okay, this is a Made in Pakistan piece. Uh, it could be like agate or it could also be um, white onyx. Not sure, but it's really cool. It's a rather large owl. He's also, you know, pretty dang big, the size of my palm. Here's him on my face. Um, him on the side of the mushroom. He's a little bit taller than the mushroom, but he's not as substantial. And he's just a very pretty guy to look at as well. And if you're into owls and stuff like that. And again, I got this, I'm pretty sure, from Laura at Jewelry, etc. And I'm asking $24 for this beautiful owl. Um anybody's interested in that he's a really good size okay and that's all my bigger stone pieces i think for today and here's teresa well, that was two that <laughs> i don't know, okay, I, don't know. I, can't remember. <laughs> I was looking at the owl what did you have the alfred dunham dunner i guess is what you say it size 18 Polyester pants, two dollars for the green pair, or two dollars for the blue pair, same size. If you, need, if you like to wear these polyesters, this one is a more of a smoother texture. This one has that a little bit of tactile texture to it, like a little bit of ridges or something. That's the way it's made. So blue or green. $2 a pair for these little vintage, very comfortable elastic waist pants. Thank you. That's a good price for some paints. Okay. Um, what was I just thinking? Did we see Dolores today? I wonder where Dolores is. Okay. Um, so I was going to do the two. Okay. I had this mid century vase that I got from Sandy and Otto. And I have this Czechoslovakian looking old timey stamped in another language um, lusterware pot with the double handles. And they would just look so great together in your home. And I will do the two of them for $16 if you're interested, which is more than I paid for, I think. This There's one. Dolores. <laughs> Dolores, I was worried about you. I was like, maybe she's out exploring today. I and maybe I already told you, you know, you know my memory. So sixteen dollars <laughs> for the two um two thingies, my doodles. And these were always on my shelf in my room, personal collection. Okay, let me put them back where they live. You guys, you need homes, and then. Let's see. I have these two um, bamboo Ooh, holders. I'm glad you're here. As long as you can. Welcome, welcome. Sue Golombeski, thank you for stopping in. No, it's it, it's it, Sue. Oh, Sue Spezio. I'm sorry. You I read half the book. word. I think they both have the orange thing. Orange S. I could be wrong though. So these are bamboo little holders. You can put whatever you want inside of them. I don't really have to tell you how they work, but they do have a gorgeous like black silhouette painting of bamboo on them. They are very texturized on the bottom. It's like whoever carved these out were like, the bottom doesn't need to be smooth. And they do look kind of older, especially like, I don't know, the dust on the inside looks like old dust. <laughs> anyway it's gonna be twelve dollars for the pair they are adorable they're very boho very mid-century if you go asian inspired style like 
my little display wall over there is doing. But, um, yeah, that's my two. I had the two vases for 16, or these two guys for 12. And here's Teresa. What is the I have this little glass, it's a shot glass with a gold trim. I'm going to ask $3 for it. It's a, you could use it for a shot glass. You could use it for a toothpick. You could do a tiny air plant. Whatever you wanted to with it, it would be cute. You can even turn it over and use it for a little stand to pop something on some of your miniatures. $3 for it. Then I have one that looks very similar to the Courier and Ives. It, if it has writing on it, it's too small for me to see. But it does have the buggy and the horses. And just a little, it looks like going by some mountains or something. It just has that look to it. And it's in green. It's in very good shape. I'm asking $3 for it also. You can have your choice or both of these. $3 each. Okay. All righty then. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Oh, Jane, I know. I know too, Jane. And it's like, I love all the little shops that I find where I can find goodies. And I like want to like promote them and stuff. But then I'm like, I'm telling everybody my honey holes. But I can't help it. <laughs> okay, so this is a Beatrix Potter mug. There's a little um, mole, I guess. We don't have moles here. Lucy and Mrs. Tiggy Winkle with a bunch of clothes all the way down the path. Little animals came out to of the fern to meet them and it's got the little imageries and it's got a little rooster on the inside of the cup there and it is by wedgewood of etruria you know i can't read made in england copyright frederick warner and company miss tiggy winkle beatrix potter stuff's coming back big y'all so five dollars for this little mug it's a little child's mug i think it's not like, okay, so here's my, like, brown drip mug, and there's a child's mug. I love that mug, the brown drip, and the other one. I think it's pretty cool, too. Um, you can always to put a plant in it. I had to pull this one out today because I broke my, um, I had one of those mugs. Y'all, Waterburger used to give you these mugs and if you had it you would get coffee for five cents for a refill they were nickel mugs and it was like slag glass and i broke it yesterday and i had coffee all over me and all over oh the floor and the cabinets i just cleaned okay so i picked this book up with good intentions because you know me i always want to start a new hobby and it's called all about roses and it's got how do you cover certain roses, plant certain roses, different styles of roses, planting roses in boxes above the ground. Oh my God, look at these other people's roses. Those are pretty. And oh my God, Dolores. It has a Baton Rouge. I say that because she's from Louisiana. Rose Society, Affiliate Society, like pamphlet paper in there, which I think is really cool. Oh, oh, oh my god and it has like the membership of the guy whose name I'm not gonna put out there but it tells you all the different plant foods and stuff and I think that's really neat okay anyway hey Aaron asking $4 for, for the all about roses with the personal deets inside they even show you how to make little sachets Jane wants your mug before I forget. Which oh the Beatrix, Beatrix Potter. Potter. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Hey, Mr. Chapter Two Co. Aaron. Y'all go check because it's a fun day. Okay. Dolores wants Dolores. To look. Please me book. Got you, Dolores. Okay. A A Ron in the house. Thank you guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah. I have a little wedge. Uh, no, listen to me. I'm reading the thing. Willow tree. Um, you know, frame, not in gear. A little girl. It is a willow tree. Angel of wishes. She has a little stamp on her. I'll do her for $3. She's 
He's in good shape. That's like a little place for maybe to put a uh, a hanger or something. I don't know otherwise why she has a little hole in her. Okay, three dollars for her. Then I have the little planter made in Haiti. Um, he does have some crazen. Little duck planter. I had five on him, but I'll take three today. Try to make room for what I'm going to get tomorrow. <laughs> it's not the blue bow. It's the yellow and purple. Or I thought that was gray, but the more I looked at it, it looks purple. Okay, three. Three for either one of these little things. The little girl or the, the little goose, I guess. Thank you. All right. Nancy's headed off to physical therapy. We all feel your pain, but hopefully it makes your pain feel less eventually right. one day. It helps. Although, you know, I'm not going to. Okay. Um, let's see what we have in my room, too show you guys next. Okay, I've got this Kokomo, Indiana slag glass purple vase with the sawtooth top. Looks like a star when you look at it like that, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, and it's got the like swirly designs throughout. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I was asking 50 originally for this because I was in love with it, but um, I realize maybe that's a little bit crazy. It has improved. It just aggravates. Oh, yeah. Well, eventually my physical therapy started ripping my joints apart. So they're like, you're not allowed to go anymore. Um, <laughs> so this is $25 for this Kokomo, Indiana slag glass purple vase. Um, its height is like forearm height. So I would say about 12 inches. Maybe a little less. And so there's that. You want this slag glass face from Kokomo? Oh, Indiana. Kokomo vase. Okay. And then I was going to keep this forever because I'm in love with it. But hey, what can you do? What can you do? This is... And I'm not saying it's made of coral because I don't know what coral is supposed to feel like. And I think it's painted a certain color. But it is a coral lamp. And as soon as I plug it in, I can turn it on for you guys. And it makes very dim lighting at night. So it's good for right before bedtime. I don't want you to get rid of that. <laughs> I don't want to either. Because, you know, I love it. Okay. I have this on every night. Um, and it's beautiful, and it's very mid-century yeah. looking. I'm going to ask 40 bucks on this. It'll probably be about $9 to ship. It's just a little Christmas, you know, bulb that they squeeze up inside there. And I had all my, like, ah, crystals and stuff stuck inside the little coral pieces. And I would stare at it at night. Anyway, very awesome. And so that was my two. And thank you, Dolores. And if anybody's interested in the lamp, let me know. Oh, girl, it's pretty in the bedside at night. I have three bedside lamps right now. I need help. <laughs> I have this stainless steel butter dish. It does have a few little, like, Knife scrapes probably in the bottom of it. But that is in perfect condition. I have 10 bucks on it. Someone said that the little handle might be Bakelite, but I don't know that for sure. Okay. Makes a lot of noise when you're moving around. Then I have this little crystal trinket dish. Some of the gold is kind of wearing off a bit. Um, I will do $3 on it. I have the stainless steel butter dish for 10 or three for the little crystal dish. Thank you. You have such beautiful, elegant little pieces. 
I have weird things that people are like, what is that? Okay. I love your stuff, too. Me, too. I like weird. Um, so I have this face. Yeah, I mean, this. Whew, don't reach up above your head and stand up because everything is black. Okay. This Be is a big picture with like a whippet or a greyhound as a handle, and it's got a hunting scene on it. And, you know, there's the animals that the hunter caught. My favorite animals being this big jackrabbit and then the uh, fox. And I know it's kind of, you know, graphic, but it's still cool. Anyway, it's got the big palm leaf, it's so it can even look back. In Art the middle of a table, a ball pine. What? Art deco for the ladies, and then it's manly, and then a dog. So, yep. Anyway, $25 for this lovely piece. It is signed by the artist Thomasine. And I know they've made more of these, like I've seen them online, but you can Google it now. Nobody can paint as good as the beautiful Miss Thomasine can paint. It's just a lovely job she did on this. Texture, shading. Look at that handle. <laughs> I love I mean, she that. Did, she did really good. All right. And so there's that dude. And wasn't that my second thing? I feel like it was. Let's do something else since I don't know. I honestly don't know. I turned my AC off for you guys and I'm in Louisiana, so y'all don't have to hear the Turn weird noises. It doesn't bother us. Turn it back on. And you just say that because you're polite. Okay. <laughs> this is a really cool hat paint. box. <laughs> a really cool hat box. I could put stuff inside it and, you know, Put it in your box when it ships out. But it's got a little angel sitting on the top. It's got this beautiful, Sweet. whatever you call this stuff. It, it's like garter belt material, maybe, around the top. But it's starting to come loose. So you would have to, like, reattach that one part. And it has little vanity images on the bottom. And it's just adorable. And, you know, somebody made this. And so, yeah, there's a thing with the thing hanging off. So, anyway, $12. If anybody's interested in this big old gorgeous hat, all your men, or from your company inside one of these boxes. Somebody at the door, ding dong, grab this and just start, you know, checking stuff inside. And here's Teresa. <laughs> that reminds me of Selena. Uh, is that her name? I said, I don't know. Anyway, that loves the cherubs. I have a little um, choo choo train, teddy bear, two teddy bears riding the choo -choo Selena. train. Mm -hmm. Selena? It's, I don't know what it's yeah. anyway. All right, three, $3. A little ornament, a sweet, sweet ornament. It might look more like Valentine's Day, but who don't like hearts and love anytime? Okay, $3. Okay, then I have this bicentennial plate. It has a calendar, 1976 calendar. It would be really pretty for your um, any of the patriotic holidays. I have three dollars on it also. Good morning in the chat, everyone that's in the chat. Good morning, good morning. So three and three. I was going to say, those Thank plates you. make make great dad gifts. Sue is in for the plate and the choo-choo. Okay. Oh, and the choo-choo. Okay, thank you. Choo-choo three for me and plate three. Did you buy the purple slide glass vase here in Louisiana? Where did I get the Kokomo slide glass? Yes, I did. Yes, ma'am. Dolores, I got it at... Mimi's Treasure Attic, not Mimi's Treasure Co Cottage for me too. I don't know if I'm saying Cindy's channel name wrong, but it's Mimi's Treasure Attic. It looks a lot like Cindy's picture on her thing. And it's um, written by the DeZormo house. So they feed and house girls who want to keep their baby but have nowhere to go. So it's a really good little place. I find a lot of cool stuff there. Okay, this is some salt and pepper shakers they had lost all their paint 
So I went ahead and cold painted its features on there for you. He's got grass. There's his little eyes in his mouth. And I turned his antennas red. Antennas? Not his antennae. Not his antennas. And then <laughs> there's the grass on the back side, and he's got the salt and pepper on the inside there. And so he's just adorable. Cute if you collect salt and pepper shakers. Anyways, $12. He was super cheap, but nobody wanted him, so I fixed him, and now he's fancy. And I, I swear I see Holy moly. Let me get my magnifying glass. Well, I'll figure that out for the next go round. But um, I also have this gorgeous. This is a ceramic piece. You will look super artsy when you wear this. It's got some like little metallic looking gold or silver. My eyes play tricks on me. I think it's gold. Things on it. It reminds me of the mom from Beetlejuice. I love that style jewelry. And I believe it says Japan on the clasp. And I'm asking $8, and you can even see the little kiln marks on the bottom of the pieces they made. I just think it's so cool. I had it in a lot yesterday, but lots of buffering. I don't know what's going on. It's probably my air conditioner. That's why I have to cook myself during the live stream. Okay, and that's my two. If you'd like the $12... Painted by yours truly salt and pepper shakers or the artisan made necklace. Uh, let me know in the chat. And here's Teresa. How about cha cha? Okay. I have this huge fruit bowl with the little eggs on it here. Glass vintage. It has um, fruit on the bottom. I'm asking 15 for it. It is finished. It is big. It is heavy. I have all that to consider if, in shipping. It is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous bowl. And I have the little silver candle stick holders. They are very pretty. They have all the little decor on them. And um, I'm asking eight for this pair. I think that's what I asked yesterday. It was the first time I showed them. I think I, I usually put stickers because I can't remember. But eight dollars today. That. Oh, those are beautiful. Art Nouveau yeah, Victorian style there. could be boho. Love it. They're very pretty. Yes. That's my two. Thank you. The bowl or the candlestick holders. You have a pretty table okay. if you put both of these on I bought there. a new computer. I got new technology. Nothing's helping. I think I, mm -hmm. I ended up with the worst computer than I had before. Oh. Oh, there's some light. Okay, now I can see what I'm feeling. Okay, this thing, I'm not too sure about. I should have asked Nate, because Nate knows all the metal markings. But it's Reed and Barton, and it's marked 9.65. So I don't know if that's like its weight. I don't know, but it's a, it, you know, it's got a lot of discoloration. It's very, what do you call that? Um, distressed looking. And it would look neat with a little plant inside because it also has a bowl. And it's by Reed and Barton as well, but this one's marked 101. And there's the inside. And I just like keep them like that and I stick some little faux plants in there, but real plants are great too. And, um, so you just get it's a little set i'm gonna ask six bucks for it if anybody's interested and uh, i have so much stuff going on right here i have this bag of wooden beads they're all different styled wooden beads um some are completed necklaces some are ready to be clasped up and become necklaces anyway I love wooden jewelry. I love natural jewelry. I like natural stones. I don't really mind. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy, but I like that type of stuff. I also like gaudy costume jewelry. That is my jam. Got that from my grandma. You have six dollars from the metal angler. Okay, thank so. you. Thank you, metal angler. It does. It is. It is pretty worn. Just beware. And then I um. 
this bag of wooden beads I'm asking 10 for. Um, these are vintage. The majority of them are vintage. I can't promise you they all are, but definitely this spirally one with the three different shades of wood, that's vintage. And thank you, the metal angler who probably knows everything about metal. I appreciate it. And that was my two. Well, I know 925 silver, but it was like 9.65. It's weird. It's weird, Cindy. I have this beautiful Cayman Island mug. It has fish. It has a turtle. It's in really good condition. I'm asking $2 for it. Big handle. I like them with a big handle. Other than needing to be washed out, it's in good condition. I love the turtle. Little sea turtle, I guess. We went up to the cabin. We saw several of the little turtles in the water. I was thrilled by seeing them. It does have a, oh, it just says XAD. I don't know what that means on there. $2 for it. And I have a little rooster cup for $2. And it has a, like a good morning sunshine. Kind of looks like it was painted by me because I'm not an artist at all. <gasps> it also Beautiful. has a big handle. $2. So Cayman Island or Rooster Mugs. $2 mugs. Trying to get them out of here. Shoot that square, 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 square. <laughs> That's Sarah. I know. She must be at work. I'm picking on her. <laughs> I know you are. That's okay, cool. so I have this. There would be. Was... Got to make yourself big. Did I get it? No, it did not sell. So. Hat. I have you, Dolores. Shame. What was I asking for it, Jane? Was it 10 or 12? I think I dropped it to 10, huh? For you today, special price, $10. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> okay. And yeah, Dolores wants a rooster mug. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So does anybody know how to play pinochle or like vintage cards hoil plastic coated cards or the colors blue red yellow green or pink or orange how about this pinochle deck it's from the barn which i've never heard of um it's got a little plastic lid all the cards are there for pinochle which means you get nine through ace times two and that's in both decks i don't know how to play pinochle but they're really cool cards um and they're plastic coated which is supposed to mean something special but i don't really know what so you get the blue and the orange and it's five dollars for these gorgeous vintage playing cards and it's like a botanical slash aviary print like you've got birds and flowers and so you could have these in your little coffee table you can make and you can be like, hey, it's pretty. My name is Joshua. Okay, cool, cool. Nice Josh. I won't we'll try not to forget that. <laughs> yes. Never learned to play me either. Okay. But one of my favorite decks has no case to it, but they all are there. And I like the brand. It's called Stardust. And these are also plastic coated. They have like the bird of paradise and a pretty floral scene going on it. But I love it the most because of their little like um, emblem. The Stardust. It's a jester on the moon. And I think that I'm like, wow spades i didn't say that ace of spades and this is gonna be five dollars as well if you're interested in that and that's my two and here's teresa i have fine china japan candace creamer dish 
still has all the silver, all the flowers. I'm really getting a lot of feedback. I'm hoping no, that's not y'all not here. Okay, I'm gonna ask eight dollars for the creamer. It's in beautiful condition. If you have this pattern and need a replacement piece, or if you just like this creamer, it's beautiful. Then I have three of the berry bowls in the same design. Very pretty. And I'll ask $6 for them today. The six on the bowl, eight on the creamer. Thank y'all. You're, you're muted. I have another metal question. So I found this, I came across this bracelet, right? And the way they kind of hooked it here, it kind of got like some dark stuff going on. Oh, there. Now you can see the darkness really well. Anyway, I put it through the Gemsonic cleaner and it took it off on one side. So it might do it again. But one end is marked 19. You five per right percent, but the other side, which is like the exact same type of clamp, is marked ten carat M A, like ma, ten carat ma, and then ninety five per. So I'm like, how is it ten carat and how is it ninety five? So that really confuses me. Anyway, it's a pretty bracelet, um, and I did acid test it. It did test for silver. I didn't test it for whatever, 10 carat, because I don't understand how that's possible. But it does have that dark stuff going on there. I'm going to ask $13 for it. I really don't know anything about the markings, but hey, it's from Peru, which is on my bucket list. I'm going there one day. And that's my two. And here, there's Teresa. Teresa, there it is. <laughs> Did it go back? <clears throat> oh gosh! Back on my end. Stay. Okay, I have I have the little first communion little bra uh, bracelet. It sells regularly for fourteen. I got it for three. This is a big little bracelet. Okay, three dollars. Then I have the faux mercury glass handle holder. The little beaded top. I mean, it's even really pretty without the little fairy lights. I have it for three. It's very pretty. It is very pretty with the fairy lights in it also. Can't help but think about Maury when I say fairy lamp lights and lamps. And then it's it's funny that she popped up into oh chat right goodness. when he showed that. I did not I did not see her because I can't see that till late. Oh my <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. See? I'm just thinking about you. Goodbye. That's my two. Okay. So let's see. I need this hunting picture gone. It's big, guys. $25 is a steal of a deal. You get this greyhound in your handle with the feel. Um, big palm leaf. How about 20? What if I do 20? That is a steal. I need room. It is a steal. And then I do have this blue, cobalt blue, like apothecary dish, and it's hand blown. Did I not? I didn't sell this yesterday, no. Okay. And you can see the ponceal mark on the lid. You can see where they ground it on the bottom. It's it's like a thinner glass, but, you know, I've kicked it around a few times. It's still alive. Um, Jane, I can send Maury's info to you. I'll send you an email. Um... If, if she doesn't hear you, I mean, she can send it herself as well. And this is going to be an $8 item, which I think is a heck of a deal. I meant to make moon water with it last night in the full moon, but I forgot. 
So this guy's only 20. And then we have this guy for only eight. And that's my two. And here's Teresa. I have a, another little sweet little doggy. He's a miniature doggy compared to the other set I sold earlier. He's three dollars. He is sweet, sweet though. Then I have this little boy with the geese. And he is so cute also with his little hat and his little overalls. And he's three dollars. Look at those eyes. He's so sweet. Aww. Little patches. So three dollars for the little boy, three dollars for the little doggy. Thank you. Okay. All right, girlfriend. I'm running out so, of So, I know. I'm kind of backpedaling on stuff now. Even though I have more stuff that I haven't grabbed that is sitting out all over my shelves in my home. Okay, so I have this, again, this stone owl. Oh, I'm in the miniature window. And he's very pretty. And he's very colorful. And he's lovely. And he's made in fact white onyx or agate. I think he's agate because of all that banding going on. But, you know, I'm not a stone expert. I just learn as I go. And he's going to be $25. He's a good size. He's big. Um, holy moly light. I'm trying to block the sunlight if you can't tell. Thank okay, you for coming in, Wendy. And I got you still in, Jane. I love to see you, Wendy. Thank you for coming. And then I have also this mushroom for 25 and he's got the druzy pockets and stuff. But if you want them both to create your own stone fantasy land, I'll do two for 40 on these little big size guys. Okay, and that's my two. And here is Teresa. <laughs> I have the, excuse me. I have this brass tray. Got pretty little hands are on it. I'm asking seven dollars for it. Try not to blind y'all. It's very shiny, very pretty. It's it's not real real heavy. It has a little bit of weight to it, but not a terrible lot of weight. The handles, how pretty the handles are. I don't know how to show you all these things. So handles. gorgeous. That's seven. Then I'll back up to with the, uh, I had this picture. And I was asking five for it. Dolores would oh, like the brass tray, please. Okay, gotcha. Okay, and that's my two. And that's your two. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right, guys. We need help. Got to get this glass out in the house. I'd cut this from fifteen to twelve dollars. Just re-showing it in case anybody's interested. It's a lovely olive green. It's beautiful. If you put it in the light, it turns white on camera. <laughs> and it's just a big old brandy snifter. I don't know the correct name for a giant brandy snifter, but that's what it is. And we still have this $8 piece of glass. So together they would only be $20 because 8 and 12 equals 20. But if we wanted to let's make a deal, how about 18 for the pair? 18 for the pair of beautiful. What a deal. What a deal. What a deal. Somebody better grab I know. that up. I know. Scoop it up. Scoop it up. So that's my two right there. That's my two. I hope it, I hope you enjoyed that. And here's Teresa. <laughs> I'm going to 
I'm gonna share my little piggy again. And I have it's a good thing I put a sticker on him because my mind just went blank. I had him for five dollars. That's his stopper. He's a little polka dot piggy. I think he's adorable. Brought me right back to childhood. <laughs> and then I had this little angel. I'll take three for her. Jane, I'm so sorry. I'm going to be praying for you to get relief and get better. Hey, uh, Angelic Vintage Treasures. Anybody else that snuck in? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you. That's my two. The pig. How much was the pig? $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. He's adorbs. I know it's good to see Debbie. Debbie, 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 Debbie. Yes, yes, yes. She says five dollars. It's hers. She wants it. She says I'm not leaving Thank without you. this. This guy. Mm -hmm. I love okay. You. Again, let us backpedal. Y'all know I hate bells, but y'all know I love pixies, and I couldn't I'm help it. Let me try to, okay. And here he is. He's so adorbs, and he's looking up to the sky. It could be Jack and the Beanstalk. You never know. He's on a little flower. And it's uh, from 1983, made exclusively by Avon. Oh, my God, light. Here we go. And he's just adorbs. He looks like he's flying on a broom, too. Five dollars for this little belt. Just cute, cute, cute. Good. The sooner you're out of the hospital, the better. Absolutely. Now we need your prince so we can get her out of the hospital. Okay. And then I had these little um, salt and pepper shakers. Cold painted. They do have somebody's name on the bottom. It looks like R O something, but it's really hard to read. And I painted on cold painted on myself because I am getting so fancy. And you are. it's a little wiggly worm. And it's salt and peppers. And I'm asking twelve dollars. And y'all remember that that thing back in the day, what horse do Marvel the Mustang, we love you. You don't remember that, Teresa? Are you froze? I don't. No, I don't remember. I'm thinking about that. These little kids, and they would go up and down, and the toy horse would like go along the thing, and they're like, um, "Marvel the Mustang, we love you." What horse oh. do? That's all I remember. Anyway. Aww. They had an inchworm Mustang where the kid would get on the inchworm and he'd hop down the driveway, and that's what. Um, that reminds me of Jane. Jane, they do that. You're too young. You're too old. That's all I hear in the doctor's offices when it comes to back pain. You're too young for this. You're too old for that in every single room. You just got to fight them. Fight them for help. Okay, so I did the bell and I did the shakers. And there is Teresa. Okay, I had the little piggies. Cute little farm decor. You don't a little... A uh, tray for just a little decor for the summertime or the fall time or any time. <laughs> Three dollars. They are very, very lightweight. Very lightweight. Three dollar little piggies. Then I have something else with the roosters on it. Little cock. And somebody got the rooster thing. Oh no, Sue, I didn't get you for the angel. Thank you. Um, it's easy to miss some. Very easy. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. Thank you. I have three dollars on the rooster crock or three on the piggies. Thank y'all. Good. I got you. I got you right now, Sue. 
That was my two. Are you froze? She's froze, I guess. Okay, I have a set of six bicentennial plates. I was asked in 15, I'll take 10 today. It's close to the fourth. If you want to decorate your table, have a patriotic. I'll take $10 for the set of six. They're in perfect condition. You want me to show y'all six? I will. Lucy, you coming back to me, dear? It's her channel. I can't do anything. Uh-oh. She'll be back. Okay, six of the bicentennial patriotic plates. Then I have two creamers. I don't know how I ended up with two mid-century modern creamers. So I have the um, avocado green, and I have this brown with the speckly, like orange that we all had so much of. So you want the plates? Okay, great, great, great. I'm so happy somebody wants some plates. I love that kind of stuff. There you are. I had seven on the little picture. Okay, your turn. <laughs> okay, sorry, I lost my internet, so I'm on my phone now. Um, okay, we can we can end it anytime you're having trouble or whatever. We don't and, have very long left that. anyway. Yeah, I do have a doctor's yeah. appointment in a little while. Yeah. It's no big deal. Okay. So, let's turn this around and play with some jewelry. Why don't we, ladies? Okay. Do it. Will it let me turn my camera around? Probably not on here. Huh? <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. We'll just pick up stuff. Okay. Who is fancy and knows how to restring things? Real coral and tur real turquoise vintage beaded necklace or if you have a jeweler that you trust and it does have a toggle clasp and it is old it is a vintage toggle clasp lord look at me trying to show on my phone let me see if i can hit this nope you can't do that either okay and it's got like a little just and i'm gonna use this here so I can have two hands. There we go. And here's the other end of the toggle class. And it was like a multi-strander. Like it had two strands. So really it just needs to be tied back and restrung. And I could probably do that myself. Shoot. Anyway. It's real, it's real coral and turquoise. So I'm going to ask like at least 40 bucks on that. If anyone's interested. Um... And then I have these, like, this also needs to be repaired, but it's really awesome. It is, like, hand-blown glass beads with gold in them and blue in them. Like, at first I thought it was, like, lapis encased in something. So I don't know if they're, like, Murano beads or whatever, but they have the little end caps on every single bead. The um, clasp is vintage. It's one of those pull-out doohickey ones. I know you ladies recognize this. I did not test it to see if it was silver, but all the stuff I got from that jeweler was. And I can tell you if it's not, if you do decide you're interested. But it does need to be reattached. And it's not going to be an easy job for a normal person. So anyway, um, $25 for those. Um... And they're just really, really, really cool looking beads. I'm trying to, there we go. And that's that. And a thank you. And here's Teresa. Angelic Vintage, please read into my um, email your information because I must have something incorrect on my end because I, I do show that I did send an invoice. But if it's something incorrect with the you know, if I have your email wrong or something, it won't send it to you. So please do me a favor and do that today and we'll get that straight. All right. Um, I'll reshow these two things. Brass candle holder. Three dollars is regular 15. It says. You just put your candle on here and it holds it. 
you could use this for your, you know, your stones that you collect or anything, you know, or you could, I don't know, you couldn't turn it over, I don't guess. Okay. And it's for two dollars. I have the little cross uh needle point cross stitch. With the thread and everything. Two dollars. That's my two. Thank y'all. Okay, you guys, what are we going to do about this? Okay, hunting picture, picture. I was asking. That's a great price. I you know. know. That's a good I price. Somebody's going to get that. that. Fall so time gonna... on the middle of the table. It's, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, need, Dolores, okay. I got you. I'm going to do an offer up on this guy. We're going to start him at $20. You can't get one cheaper online, and they're all uglier than mine, I swear. I mean, maybe not. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but this is a 10-inch tall vase, basically. And it's, it is it is glazed on the inside, so you can use it. And it is marked Thomasina. Not Thomasina. That's that Disney movie. Thomasine. And I'm going to start this at $20. You have one minute. It's We're at 131.18 on my end. I'm going to type start. No. I'm going to try to type start. Can't do it on my phone. Oh, well. We're, we've started. $20. Start at $20. Somebody needs this. Great dad <laughs> gift, man gift, husband and wife. Together we share our stuff gift. I need this. I will uh, try to start. I mean, just look at that detail. He's so lovely. Let me set him down. Look at that. Look at that. Very, very like, oh, and then that leaf. No one, no, I can't, I can't give it away. Okay. That's okay. Twenty dollars. It needs to go. It's too big for my bedroom. Okay. You got Jane in for twenty. Jane's in for twenty. Jane, you're gonna Damn. love it. I always like the. Lori, you need to come out. in for twenty-one. Look how pretty. Is that all that detail? My name is Teresa Blancet or Teresa Bryant Blancet, Angelic, if you see coming from me. Or it might say sweet tea. I'm not sure. Okay, Dolores, do you want to come in for 21? Before I push stop. Did I push stop already? I didn't mean to if I did. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna type it. Not. I don't. I don't know if I did or didn't. I think the dog's the coolest part. You guys, look at him. Okay. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Doggones! Doggones got it. So Thanks, to Jane. 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 I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to love it. Okay. Where are my notes? So I don't forget to write you down. And then I have another one I'd kind of like to offer up as well, if that's oh, okay. Oh, And this is the, um, and I have Annette Edmark. This is a very regal looking horse. Um, let me set my phone down again. He's just a beautiful piece. He's highly sought after. He was originally produced by Ikea, but designed by a different woman who I believe is like Scandinavian or Swedish or something. And I do believe these sell for, or at least last time I checked, around 70 bucks on eBay. Probably um, get closer to like 50 if you wanted to hurry and flip it. But I'm going to start this bad boy off at $30. Uh, you'll probably hear my voice shake if anybody's interested in him he's like a terracotta material he's got a foam bottom he's got the maker's mark label 
He's got the nose going on and the eye. And if you have like a Western booth or a Grecian themed home or I don't know, Scandinavian sheep. But we can hit start and it's a $30. Okay. Start. But start. I don't know if it's coming out. There you go. I see it. And her name is. Annette Edmark, A-N-E-T-T-E-E-D-M-A-R-K. If you're a horse or Western person or just like to look classy, classic pieces that don't go out of style. You know what I mean? Don't forget what the good Lord said. Be nice. You have Joanne, Joanne in at 30. Gosh, Thank you, Joanne. Any other interest? There's no sheik in my house. Maybe jump sheep. Don't need to do what, Caroline? Oh, yeah, Caroline. All right. And just if we don't have any other just, interest, we can. Yeah, we can go ahead and start selling it to Joanne if there's no other interest. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop. I'm going to type it in here. Stop. What else came in? We have, it's sold to Joanne. Joanne, you're going to love it. You're going to be, you're going to like it. And like, for real, Google it and research it because. Rats. You can you can see what it goes for, Annette Edmark. I'll put the details in your invoice. Thank you guys. Thank you. Here's Teresa. I think I've about showed everything twice. Okay. You want to keep showing? You keep showing if you want to. I'll do your bidding for you. Well, I know you got to go to uh, the doctor. I do. That's okay. Well, are I'm you are you done? Or you got? You no, can show I've done something some else. Other stuff. Okay, let me write this you down. Do whatever you want. Jane got the picture with the greyhound. Oh, this too, Joanne. Thirty. Y'all know everybody's like, if we just hold out long enough, Lucy will get desperate. No, I'm kidding. Y'all know, like, I pick my favorite items are priced the highest because I like to stare at them forever. Okay, so we've got this stone collection going on. All right. Make yourself big again. And oh, there I am. Oh, trying to get this out of my face. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the wrong things. Can you all see me at least? Yes, okay. So we've got this big bookend stone with the Rorschach test going on, made in Brazil. It's, it's very polished, it may even be clear coated. I don't know how they get it that polished, but. It's very sparkly, and you can stare up inside of this all day. You get your little light out, and you can look all inside this crystal. See all kinds of things. Um, and again, it is made in Brazil. And it's got the rough part on the outside. And the smooth part like that. I just use it as display, but if you have books that you just want to hold against one end of a shelf, it works for that. Then I have the agate mushroom. Okay. And he's got the druzy pocket on the top. It's a really tiny one and a druzy pocket on the side. And he's just really pretty, but he's a big size. He's not like itty bitty, itty bitty mushroom size. He's big size. And then we've got the made in Pakistan owl, who I think is white onyx or banded agate. Not sure. Anyway. You get all three of these <laughs> for $50 if you're interested, which is a really great price. These probably go awesome for 25 price. each, so it's like throwing this guy in as a bonus. But I know, you know, it might not be everybody's price range and uh, cup of tea. So we're going to start this at, what did I say, $50? Yes, ma'am. All right. $50 for the set of three beautiful 
stone pieces. Good size. Mm, let me make a little... I make them look fancy. Oh, the owl says no. Don't forget what your good Lord said. $50 start. Anybody want to come in? Five, zero. You could sell this for 50. You could sell these two for 50. I mean, 25 each. You can do things. You can, there's possibilities there. Any interest? It's okay because I kind of really didn't want to get rid of these anyway. I would if I could. I know Bug Bewitch. So I say the same thing when I look at these rocks. I say the same type of stuff. Okay. Lastly. We got to get rid of this glassly. Okay. Bill, quit. Quit your... Okay, let's start this at $10. And I'm going to go for a minute. Start $10. Bill, come see. Come sit by your mama. Bill. Ten dollars for this wedding cake stand with the like curled, curled up sides, the gold gilding. It's really a beautiful piece. It would make a great assemblage, a planter, or food serving thing. It'd be great. This is a service dog. Not really, but he does slow your breathing down. He's cool. Okay, there's that, and then lastly, that since there's no interest in that, I did I already do the offer up on these guys? We're gonna start them out at 18. Blue apothecary dish and giant and pulley like green brandy snifter. Start these out. And this is my last item of the day, you guys. Too bad the lid doesn't fit perfect on that. This is, these are both handmade glass, handmade mouth blown objects. Come on, guys. Get these last two things out of my house. And that wedding cake stand if you want it. <laughs> now I can go get more stuff. Y'all took some, y'all gave me more room. Okay. I don't think there's any. I don't think oh, it's eight okay. start for just the blue. Eight dollars was what I was asking, but then I was asking what I cut this down to twelve, and now we're at what price? Eighteen for both. So I mean, yeah, I'd say. 10 and 8, if anybody's interested. 10 on the big snifter, 8 on the blue canister. Okay, Dolores, I got you for the blue. $10, $10, last chance, $10 holla for this big giant piece of glass you will never find for $10 anywhere else. Maybe you will. I could be lying. Not a liar. Thank you, Dolores, on the blue glass. Blue glass. $10 cake stand ten dollar glass buy it now buy it now we'll do white is one and green is two and if not that's it for me today and i thank you guys you helped me um move some stuff and i appreciate it more than you could ever know and let's pull this up big i don't know how to pull this up big and i can't hear Teresa. so can you hear me now yeah. Maury says she'll take the $10. The um, green yellow. one that she's calling she, yellow. Yeah, but it looks yellow when we're looking at it. But the it is green, Maury. It's beautiful, Maury. You'll like it. I'm going to have to do boxes and boxes for your stuff. I got some glass for you. And I don't know how to make us share the screen. Let's do more. That's okay. Yeah. You can leave us like this. It's fine. Stop. It's fine. Here we are. 
So Teresa's not been feeling well. She's been having a lot of sinus issues and she's been hanging in there. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a low immune system. Yeah. I, 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 I bounce back pretty fast and I, I'm, I'm going to be all right. Go get me an antibiotic. Maybe they'll give me a shot and get me it well in a hurry. I don't know. Sue wants to Hopefully know if you no have steroids. Didn't sell. Are you feeling too bad to re-show what didn't sell? Or? Did show what you did not sell. Um, Thank you, Dolores. Uh, uh, I know I can see it in your face. You're not feeling good, huh? It's okay. I did a little um, stainless butter dish didn't sell and the cross stitch. And I, didn't, I, I sold a lot. That's why I was saying I didn't really have a whole lot left to show. The little um, creamers didn't sell. Seven each. Just put avocado green or brown. Those you want them both, I do them both for 12. You want them both for 12. That's about it. I thank y'all so much. Oh, I will. I'll be okay. I'm and okay. I just want to remind us all that um, Teresa's granddaughter's in the hospital. It's a life lifetime battle she's been, you know, dealing with. She's really, really, really sick. She does not feel good. She's in a lot of pain. So y'all please pray for Hannah. Um, keep her in your prayers and thoughts. And of course, please, um, you know, Teresa's got to get well. She's my sidekick. So. Oh, I'm going to be all right. I ain't that sick. Um, this is shells for $2. That's what it was. Good for silence and self out. Yeah, I take a lot of different vitamins. Yeah, I used to take that all the time. I need to get me some more. Well, I mean, I thank y'all. I'm going to be good. I'll rest over the weekend. I'll be fine on Monday. Lord says you the are same. A I'll be back. Survivor. You are a cancer survivor. So you're fine. I had two cancers at the same time. Had surgery. I was going and coming with different surgeries. And, I, and the Lord blessed me. And I survived that. And he ain't done and with she, me yet. She's always positive and grateful and saying uplifting things like that. I've been she's blessed. It was Very a win win person win, and win, win battle to have her in my life. So yeah. I'm blessed to have you too. I love Lucy. She's a sweetheart. I love her too. She's like my mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well that's I fine. Call, I love to be your mama. Um, call me when you get back from the doctor and let me know how it went, Teresa. And we love you guys I and sure thank y'all for showing up. I love to see love you too. coming out. And really it means the I world to too. me. I do too. We love y'all. Y'all got all y'all got me through all that hard time. Um, I, I just was watching YouTube. That's why I was on every time anybody's notification come on. I didn't act to sitting up in the chair, but move around and stuff. And I watched it, and I just fell in love with it. It's habit forming, and and it got me yeah. through a hard time. I'm, I'm, it was a blessing to have all y'all, and I love y'all. Y'all are part of my family and my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're such a sweet, sweet community. Yes, I second that. Y'all are so sweet. Okay, we love you guys. Bye. Love you. Bye bye. Hope to see you Monday. Bye bye. Yes, yes. See you Monday. <laughs>